I was working as a director choreographer. I received a phone call saying that there's a new BBC TV show that involves professional dancers dancing with celebrities who'd never danced before. And I said, that's an absolute train crash waiting to happen. And of course, I'm not interested. I then went up for a screen test and got the job. <laughs> and the rest, as they say, is histoire. The first show looks so cheap, <laughs> it's terrible. People sat round tables as they were at some posh dinner dance. And it wasn't that posh, it was a great big red curtain behind us, <laughs> I remember, with a few tacky little lights in them. It was just awful. I sat in Bruno's position. Natasha, I'm afraid I don't agree with any of the other judges. <laughs> And I was always the last one to comment, and it was always a negative. I thought you were dull, dull, dull. <laughs> so the following week, because I was getting booed, they put me at the first position. <laughs> so it went at least from a negative into some positives. So that's why we changed positions, and a lot of people don't know that. And we'll be back here same time next week. Len and I said, well, this is going to close down. There's no way this can be any sort of entertainment for people at home. But how wrong we were. It was the most beautifully danced routine. I think the reason why it turned around is because I think the confidence grew in these celebrities. Watch me now! And you could see their improvement, and I think that's what people at home were following. It's fun to look back on that first series Nine. and think, wow, how far the show has come. Strictly has evolved enormously. When you consider people that have never danced before and are absolutely hopeless in the beginning, can actually travel through the show and improve so much that they go on to the final. I mean, it's amazing. I'm starting to fall in love, actually. <laughs> You're dancing, darling. <laughs> it's the journeys like that that I love seeing in the show. I thought you were wriggling around like a slug in salt, actually. It is fair to say that I am known for some cutting comments. It looked like you were dragging a log. <laughs> oh, please. You were mincing around that stage, darling, like we're in an episode of Some Mothers Do Ever. <laughs> and the leg at the end just sprung up like a mushroom, darling, yes. so you could put a little bit more focus <laughs> into the elegance of this dance. I always think of myself as being honest and not being mean. Your back steps, you're raising your foot too high, which made it look like a mule kicking around the floor. Oh. In the world of dance, you have to be told what is wrong, otherwise you are not going to get anywhere. That's the whole point of critique. Why wasn't I'm it sorry, it just points? was not worth any more points than last week. I never feel bad about any of my critiques after the show because I know that I'm honest and I'm telling them the truth. It's Jan and Anton. Oh. You're happy. Oh. If they don't like it, don't do the show. <laughs> we were very lucky that the show was being presented by the Bruce Forsyth. And of course we have our judges, Bruno Tonio. I was yeah. terrified because Brucey scared me. I thought it was completely painful to watch the oh. 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 It was well read. Sometimes you're painful to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this man is super talented, super quick. Don't you dare ad lib with genius. <laughs> and I thought, will I be able to keep up with him? Very sexy without being lascivious. What great Lascivious. <laughs> I'll look it up later, don't we? <laughs> but when we came off stage, he was full of sound and fantastic advice. It's nice to see you, to see you. <laughs> Brucey was famous for the catchphrase, and he created all of my ones, really. Disaster. <laughs> disaster. <laughs> Your cha 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 was a disaster. I mean, obviously, I say things like I say them. <laughs> all the cha cha cha. Um, um, he always egged them up. Thank you so much. I'm here every Saturday. Anytime I hear the theme music, Brucey's in the room. And he's always with us. And I miss him dearly.
When I started on the show, I knew of Bruno because he was a dancer and I knew Arlene because she had choreographed me in several shows, whereas Len brought all the knowledge from Forum and Latin. So the combination of all four of us, I think, made the show work. You still have what I call spatula hands. The arguments with Len were sometimes real. Sometimes they were just for fun. I think Craig's bow tie's too tight and the blood stopped him doing fine. I was always trying to convince him that his opinion was wrong. You looked a little bit uncomfortable through the kick section, so I no, don't she didn't. agree no, no. with Then we'll look at it back tonight. I would like I'll be phoning you about one o'clock. <laughs> and he was always trying to convince me that my opinion was wrong because of the rule book. I will miss what I consider the three best judges on television. And it was extremely sad when Len left because that was the end of a big era. Every time we change one of the judges, it's a new dynamic and it's been fascinating for me, someone that was there from the original year, to see and grow with. <laughs> well, Bruno, I love him dearly. He does go on. Hey, we still haven't found the cage for him, unfortunately. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, it's not cage strong enough to hold it. Every time I open my mouth, he's always wanting to shut me up. And you're a little bit too straight-legged, like a child. You've got so nothing you... about straight, darling. Don't talk about straight. <laughs> the judges. Bruno, of course, went away one week, which was terribly dangerous with me about. <laughs> Giovanni, darling. I don't really know where it came from. And once I started, I couldn't stop. People saw a different side to me, but I actually am quite a nice human being. Oh, 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 oh. It's only when you put me in front of really bad dancing that things suddenly turn. I've got my one pedal out more than any other judge on Strictly. One. I don't regret any of the ones that I've handed out. And if a zero existed, then we might get a few of those. One. The reason I award people a one is literally for showing up. The routine, obviously, is dire. One. And it's just an indication that the celebrity needs to do a bit better. One. The worst dance I think I've ever seen in the history of Strictly Come Dancing was Quinton Wilson and Hazel Newbury. They did a char, 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 I remember really badly. <laughs> one. I gave a one to Fiona Phillips and Brendan Cole for their rumble. And she was just spinning out of control. Well, I'm in a state of shock, actually. I think that was a complete dance disaster. Oh, oh. that's one of the dancers, I think, that I literally love watching back. One. I don't think Brendan was very happy with me, sadly. Craig Revelhall. Perfection is a thing that we all look for. It doesn't come along very often. And for me, a 10 paddle means it's perfect. 10! A 10 to me is everything. You know, I don't hand them out willy-nilly. They have to be fought for and deserved. 10! They can't have made any mistakes because I would not like myself as a judge if I gave someone a 10 and there was something wrong with the dance. When everything comes together as one entertainment and technical package, then I will consider a test. Strictly has changed my life entirely, and it's given me the confidence to go back to where I know best, the stage. Who are you meant to be? I'm grumpy. It's amazing, it's come completely full circle. When I think back, 17 series is amazing, and I feel really proud. And I still love it, and I haven't even noticed the years go by. They'll have to drag me out, darling, of the studio to get rid of me, I'm telling you. 
the last 15 years can be summed up in three words. Fab. You. Lutz.